Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to trigger a Divi overlay from any Divi module. And so you can set any Divi module to trigger a Divi overlay pop-up on click. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now you might've already seen our getting started tutorial for Divi overlays. Uh, in that tutorial, I show you how to set a click trigger on a button. Uh, also, we have a uh, tutorial specifically on how to trigger a Divi overlay from a button. And so uh, this is gonna work the same way, but I'm just gonna make sure that you understand that you can trigger a Divi overlay from any Divi module very, very easily. And so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to the Divi overlays uh, screen here and copy this CSS ID. And so we're gonna go ahead and copy that to the clipboard, or if you're editing the overlay, you will see the CSS ID over here in the manual triggers area. And you're just gonna to wanna to copy the CSS ID here to your clipboard. Then we're gonna to come to the page that we want to add the click trigger to, and we're gonna go ahead and enable the visual builder. And then once that loads, uh, we're simply gonna find the module that we want to trigger the overlay. And so we're not gonna do a button because we've already done a tutorial on that. I'm gonna do uh, this module here, this blurb module. And all we're going to do is we're gonna go to the advanced tab, CSS ID and classes, and then we're gonna simply paste the CSS ID here. And then we're gonna go ahead and click save. And we're going to save the page. And then once that is done saving, we're gonna go ahead and exit the Visual Builder. And you'll notice here, when I click on the Blurb Technical SEO Audit, it automatically loads the Divi overlay that we just set uh, to be triggered on click. And so it's as simple as that, adding the CSS ID to the advanced tab CSS ID field. Uh, very, very simple. Now, one thing you may have noticed is as I scroll down, when I click, it scrolls up to the top of the page before triggering. And so I'm gonna show you how we can keep that from happening here. So coming back here to the Visual Builder, we're gonna open up this blurb module and where it says link, you'll notice module link URL just has a single hashtag, right? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add the text open. You can add any text you want here. Uh, we're gonna have it be um, open or overlay or, or, or whatever you want. And basically what that means is it's telling uh, Divi that in your browser that this is a uh, an anchor link. And so it's not a link that goes to another page or another website. Um, an anchor link typically will scroll you down to a different part of the page. But in our case, we're using anchor links to trigger the pop-up. So we're gonna go ahead and cl close that. Click Save again. Now that's, that is done saving, we're gonna exit the Visual Builder, and preview our page here, and view it on the front end of the site. So you can see I'm scrolled down, technical SEO audit. Now when I trigger the overlay, it's not shooting me back up to the top of the page, it keeps me right where I am because we added that text so that is as easy as it is to trigger an overlay from a blurb module. Now I'm gonna show you one more module just so you can see how truly e easy it is uh, to tr make any part of the page trigger a Divi overlay on click. And so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove it from this blurb here. So remember, any CSS, ID, any module that has the CSS ID uh, field can trigger the overlay, which is not just any module, but it's actually any uh, uh, row as well as section too. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add it to this section, go to the advanced tab, CSS ID and classes, I'm gonna go ahead and paste it here for this entire section. So again, advanced tab, CSS ID, don't put it in class, it won't work. If you paste it in class, it has to be here in the ID. And I would save that. Save the page. Now we're gonna scroll down to this part of the page on the front end and uh, show you how you can make an entire section trigger a Divi overlay. All right, so let's scroll down here. Now you'll notice I click and it instantly 
pops up the Divi overlay on this entire section. So I can click anywhere here and it's going to work, which is pretty powerful. One thing though that you might notice is the mouse doesn't change to the pointer. Now, something that's been a part of uh, browsing experiences on the internet for years now is when there is a link to something, you can see the mouse changes from the arrow to the pointer and that tells the user that that's something that you can click. And so you'll notice that it doesn't do that here, but you might wanna do that. It's just a very subtle but powerful user experience uh, that you can add to your website so that the user knows that, hey, this is something I can click. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and I'm gonna show you how here. So let's go ahead and enable the Visual Builder again. And we'll scroll down to the section that we've added the click trigger to. And we're gonna open this up. Now Divi has in all sections, modules, rows, has the ability to add a link. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a link, which is just hashtag or number sign or pound sign, whatever you wanna call it. And then the, t the words open, it doesn't have to be open, it can be whatever you want. Um, go ahead and save that. Click save here. Let's go ahead and exit the visual builder. And now you'll notice when I move my mouse into this section, it changes from arrow to pointer, telling the user that, hey, there's this is something I can click on. And it's, it's in a subtle way telling the user, like, go ahead and click and see what happens. And so that's a, a, a really simple way to do that. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you on one more module here. The process is the same, whether you're adding it to a module uh, so a button, a blurb, an image, um, it's all the same. So we can go ahead and add that same over here. To, this is an image module. Uh, one thing we want to do is we want to make sure uh, that this is turned off, open in Lightbox. We don't want to open in Lightbox. We want to trigger our own overlay. And so we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, open in the image link URL save this while we're here i'm going to just show you a couple more modules just so you understand uh, this is a pricing table here so same thing triggered on the pricing table module link url open and let's go ahead and save here in the visual builder Go ahead and exit the Visual Builder. And let's see if I can remember where I added it. So this image here has the trigger. You can see my mouse goes to pointer as I hover over it. And then the pricing table here. So I didn't add it to this pricing table here, so nothing happens but I did add it to this one here. So that is how you do it. That's how you add a uh, click trigger to any section, row, module, uh, anywhere on the page. You simply add the CSS ID to the advanced tab CSS ID field, as well as add the module link, hashtag open, hashtag overlay. Um, and that's how you do it. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, definitely check out the additional tutorials uh, here on Divi Live in the Documentation Center for Divi Overlays, and we will see you on the next tutorial. Take care. Bye-bye.